Hi, I'm Scott Lenny from Controlomatic, and today we are going to um, uh, compare two SPA saltwater chlorine generators, one that we make, which is the Smarter SPA, to the Saltron Mini. Saltron Mini uh, claims that they can handle SPAs up to 2,000 gallons. Uh, we put in our manual that the Smarter SPA core maker can handle up to 1,000 gallons, but it really boils down to chlorine production. How much chlorine do they make per day? Um, with 2,000 gallons versus 1,000 gallon, you'd expect that the Saltron Mini makes uh, twice what the Smarter Spa makes. So today we're going to actually measure how much uh, these guys make. And we have a, a sheet here that, that uh, I created so that it has a, the equation for, and for calculating chlorine production. All we need to know is the starting chlorine, the salt level, and, and then we're going to make some measurements from the Saltron Mini, which takes about two minutes, and the Smarter Spa and then we'll be able to calculate how many grams per day these guys actually make. So we have a five gallon bucket, so we're gonna do the test in five gallons of spa water. We have our spa here, the temperature is 100, our aqua check salt test strip, which is accurate. The uh, indicator tab here is 5.2, they call these quant tabs. 5.2, which means the uh, salt in the spa is 2,140. That's at the low uh, range for the Saltron Mini. That's at the upper edge of the range for the Smarter Spa. We like to keep the salt in the spa as low as possible. So our range is actually 1,500 to 2,000 parts per million. The Saltron Mini is 2,000 to 3,000. Our chlorine uh, test to start with, you see the water is clear. So there's basically, it's really close to zero. And that is all we need to get started. So we're gonna take our five gallon bucket and dip it in the water. Clean it out once. Uh, put it right here on the table, keep it away from the phone. So we're actually going to use the phone as a uh, stopwatch because we have to measure. We have to measure the time. So turn the phone on. Go to my hands are wet. Go to um, apps, clock, let's turn on the uh, light to be a little brighter, the contrast, so there's our clock. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this over right here in the middle, and let's go ahead and fill this out. Starting chlorine is zero, salt level is 2140, and the temperature is 100 degrees. So the temperature is 100, 101 it says there now. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with the Saltron Mini. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. As soon as I see some bubbles come out, give it a few seconds. It is on. I see the bubbles, so I'm going to go ahead and start this. The stopwatch. So we're going to let this test run for two minutes. So basically, we know the chlorine to start with was zero. It's five gallons of water in two minutes we're going to measure how much the chlorine increases and then with this equation that I showed you we'll be able to calculate how many gallons or grams per day the Saltron Mini can produce. So we have our, our uh, stirring stick so during the test just like to keep the water stirring. So this is, this, this is probably a relatively accurate way to measure chlorine production. Uh, we're going to do both exactly the same so it'll be definitely good enough for comparisons. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is how you know testing agencies would actually do it. They probably have five gallon, 500 gallons of water that complete, you know, continuously cycles. But this is a good, easy, quick test. So right now we're at the 49 seconds. And while we're waiting, I'm actually having breakfast. We have our uh, our meal replacement shake, which has probiotics, uh, 20 grams of uh, of protein as pea protein, so I'll stay full till lunch. Uh, it has a full complement of vegetables and greens. Chocolate tastes really good. So here's what it looks like in the bucket. You can see, you can't even see the Saltron Mini now. It is actually making a lot of bubbles in there. You would think from this that this guy makes a lot of chlorine. And there's our stopwatch, 59. Okay, take it out with all the water and I just do one last little drip dip to uh, whatever chlorine may that it may have made we want it to be counted so that kind of washes it off go ahead and set it aside clock is at um, two minutes 17 seconds now we're gonna let that go for a couple more minutes just to let the uh, any chlorine that is in 
you know, suspended in the water will be absorbed into it to actually count. All right, so it has been, um, the, t the clock is now six minutes, 22 seconds, so it's had ample time to, uh, to get mixed up. So we're gonna go ahead and fill our sample, chlorine sample bottle to a, a vial to 25 milliliters. We're gonna do a uh, <coughs> accurate uh, titration method for measuring the chlorine. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put a scoop of our DPD fast powder in. If there is any chlorine, it'll turn a little bit purple. If there's a lot of chlorine, it'll turn really purple. And you can see it's uh, barely turning purple at all. But it did make some chlorine, so let's count the drops. One, two. Still a little tint of purple, so three. One clear. So it made 0.6 ppm of chlorine in five gallons in two minutes. So we're going to go ahead and drop that down. Test time was two minutes. And the ending chlorine is 0.6. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and um, get ready for the test of the smarter spot. I've cleaned out the bucket, refilled it with fresh ball water. The, uh, our stopwatch, I've reset it to zero. Here we have our Smarter Spa. This is actually the only uh, spa chlorine generator, actually the only chlorine generator in the world that actually that measures the chlorine and turns on when it needs to. All others are based on an on time and an off time. With the Smarter Spa, it actually uh, turns off for an unknown amount of time. It waits till the chlorine drops. So we're going to go ahead and put it in, just like with the Saltron Mini. We'll wait until I can see some bubbles. And I see bubbles. We'll go ahead and press start. We'll go ahead and keep it stirring for two minutes. I'll go ahead and have another sip of my breakfast. Oh, what a healthy way to start the day. Keep the stirring. You can see the uh, smarter spot in there making chlorine. You can see all the bubbles. We're at 1 minute and 21 seconds. Alright, time to measure the uh, chlorine production from the, uh, the smarter spot. So let's go ahead and uh, go with the 25 milliliter mark. Add a scoop of our, our uh, DPD powder. Notice it's turning pink already. Now we'll count the drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still pink. Eleven. And twelve. Twelve drops, so that's twelve times point two. That is a two point four ppm. So basically. The smarter spot in two minutes brought this five gallon bucket of water from zero to 2.4 ppm. Well, the results are in. The Saltron Mini can make 11 grams of chlorine per day if it runs all day long. Smarter Spa can make uh, 33 grams per day if it runs all day long. So the Smarter Spa makes about three times the chlorine that the Saltron Mini it can therefore handle three times the water volume. If the Saltron Mini can handle a 2,000 gallon spa. Then the Smarter Spa and the core maker, because they both make the same, can handle a 6,000 gallon spa. Not many spas are that large, but on the uh, reverse side, if the Smarter Spa can handle a 1,000 gallon spa, then the Saltron Mini can handle a 333 gallon spa. So Saltron Mini would basically be a good for a two person spa. The uh, core maker is maybe about, list price is $80 more than the Saltron Mini, so not even. Uh, twice the price. So for a little bit more you can get a chlor maker, handle a much larger spa. Um, what that means is that it can actually be on less so the titanium plates will last longer. They typically last seven to ten thousand hours of chlorine production. Saltron Mini can handle a two thousand gallon spa. Well this spa is about four hundred gallons. Should be no problem for it. Although the chlorine production as we've seen is it's pretty pretty low. 
but we're going to go ahead and put the uh, put this in. Really simple to install, just like ours. There, it's installed. But we'll go ahead and put it so it's at the at the bottom, the lowest part of the spa. The bubbles will come up, and it'll, they'll they'll have more contact with the water. Um, we're going to look at the time. So right now it is. Uh, 947 so we'll come back out in two hours and then we're going to expect that there is some miserable chlorine in the spot right now the spa is at zero and we'll see how it does in two hours okay we've now taken the Saltron Mini out it's been running for two hours we've just had the jets on to mix the chlorine up let's go ahead and take a reading so we'll fill the, the vial to the 25 milliliters Go. Now we'll add a scoop of the powder. Very faint uh, purple. We'll go ahead. I'm pretty sure one drop would be enough to take care of that. Let's go ahead and put our drop in. And it goes clear. So. Basically in this spa, maybe 400 gallons, this Ultron Mini running for two hours raised the chlorine from zero to 0.2.